Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Gina. So today I am working on a challenge by Kathy at Kathy's Garden and it's her weekly Tag Me Tuesday challenge. This week we're working with napkins and we're making a um, seed packet. Decorating them with um, napkins. So this is the first napkin I'm using and I've already taken out the parts that I want to use. So then I'll do the second one with you guys. I didn't think you wanted to sit through me doing both of them. So this is the second one. I'm going to do a Christmas napkin. I think this is so cute. So let me get my little roll of tape here. I, I can't find my good roll that I have in here. It's and Also, I had to cut the other one too. I can't get it to... This is how that little box I have, that little, um, this little school box that I have. I've never used it. <laughs> I thought, hey, I had tape in there. But I just, I didn't come up with this. Somebody else did. And you just put your tape on there and it gets it started for you. times I try to save these because I use these for other things too but today I thought oh I need to kind of move it along a little bit quicker than that <laughs> looks like this one might be triple ply maybe this one's from Tuesday morning so it might be triple Sometimes I use this for something too. And it looks like there's probably another ply on there. So I get that over there. So, I thought it looked like I wasn't down to the actual napkin here. Now, the other one was from Dollar Tree, and I had a horrible time getting the backing off of it. It just came off in shreds. I was glad I didn't do it while I was recording because it took me quite a while. It just did not want to come off. There we go. Did I say big lots? It's from Tuesday morning. I did say big lots, didn't I? I meant Tuesday morning. So then you just take your water brush and you go around the part that you want. And you want it to be torn. If you cut, then that edge shows. And it just doesn't look very good. The torn edge kind of just melts into what you're doing. Through the bottom too. I forgot that. If you haven't watched Kathy's videos at Kathy's Garden, I will make sure to link this video below. Um, she has videos every day, tutorials, and they're wonderful tutorials. And she has this Tag Me Tuesday every week, and I really enjoy her videos. Um, 
by the time I get this up, it's going to be Monday. Almost time for another one. I'm sorry about that. I mean, you can do her Tag Me Tuesdays anytime you want to. It doesn't have to be the same week. But I just had a hard time getting to it this week. I had a hard time getting things done. ahead and take out some of the stripe here. I may just take it all. I've got a whole package of these if I need the stripe for something else. I'll have it. postal because I might want that and I'm gonna take out hmm. don't really know how to get that out without running that signature on the bottom. I guess I'll just only have one signature on it. We'll just take it right here and only have one signature. There we go. And maybe we'll go ahead and take this snowflakes. I have no idea what I'm going to use for sure, but I don't want to come back to the napkin. <laughs> all four of them because there's one by the snowman. If I take four that will mean five and that will be an, an even number. I have some other napkins here but I think I probably got these two but I think I was being overzealous when I picked that many out because I can't imagine I'll get that many done. Oh, where did I get my paintbrush out of my... Huh. It's not fitting back in my little organizer. I never got it out of there. Okay. So now we need to work on our bags. Let me get this all organized over here. And Kathy used um, coffee dyed coffee paper, but I only have about six sheets of coffee paper in my house right now, and I don't want to use those <laughs> in case I need them. <laughs> so I found a piece of graph paper and a piece of music paper. 
We're going to use the graph paper for the pumpkin truck, and we're going to use the music paper for the snowman. So I'm going to turn this one this side, and I probably have to, hmm, I hope the It's gonna have to be a skinny one. I think about that. Well, if I do it this way, he'll fit. Okay, we're gonna do both of them sideways. Okay, so what we do is we're going to turn this in about um, three. I'm gonna do mine about three and a half inches. I gotta make sure I'm straight on my board here. And I didn't make sure I had this all straight on my mat here so it wasn't crooked for you. I usually make sure I have all that done before I start recording and I didn't do that. And my chair is rolling away from my desk again. Okay, so let me get this straight on here. Okay, and I'm going to go a very wide envelope. I may have to cut a little bit off of here. Because I don't really want it that wide. Where's my truck? See, that's going to look silly to be. We're going to make this to be about why do I want this? My truck is about four inches, so I want it to be about Four and three quarter inches. Sorry, I'm gonna go down here for a minute. I know I'm not completely in your view. Okay, so I'm going to cut this off. I'm not doing exactly like Kathy did. I'm sorry, guys, but I need to. Um, Let's see. I want this to overlap about a half an inch which is six. So right here. Okay, so I'm going to cut that off, and I wonder if that will fit in my decal. I don't know if it's, if it'll fit in there or not. If it will, I'm going to stick it in here to do it. Just does. a little bit. <laughs> now, yeah, that's just perfect. Okay, so but I don't have that folded completely straight there. Get my bone folder here. So I can crease that right because I didn't get it quite right when I did it. This one's straight. Okay, so then I turn it around. And we line it up on our mat and we fold it up about half an inch. I'm going to, oh, let's see. I'm 
I'll fold it to you. That one right there. I'm making this look hard and it's really not. I just having a hard time folding for some reason. Okay, so then I hold it back and fold it back. There we go. Then we come back and we have these lines right here in the center here. So we take I'm going to cut from this side because I can't even hardly see it on this side from all my dyeing there. And we're going to fold. We're going to cut right here. Why am I cutting with those scissors? They're terrible. <laughs> I'm going to cut right here to the fold line where we just folded. And then come just on the other side of the fold line here and cut down into and meet there. But you want to cut on the inside of your fold line. And Kathy gives a really good tutorial. She shows you real good, which I guess I should have highlighted that. I'm going to ink it anyway. But you want to cut just on the the right side, the side that you're keeping. You want to cut on that side of that line because then when you fold this all in, it's not bunched up there. This folds in nicely. I'll keep that. Then we'll ink this all up. But let me go ahead and do this one. Now we'll have to figure this one out too. So this one is five. So we'll fold this over. We probably won't have to monkey with this one as much. We'll fold this one over to be gonna have to be cut off some. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna have to be cut off some. Fold this one over. To be five inches. This one's going to be a wide one. And then we'll fold this one over. Yeah, we won't have to cut this one at all. Fold this one over. This paper is kind of hard. That one just worked. Just barely. I my other. I don't know why I'm messing with that bone folder. Okay, so then we will turn it. And 
I'm going to do it this side because this is the torn side. Embellishments I got sitting up here in my way. And you know, this is really hard to fold, so I think I'm going to get my. this out and I'm going to emboss it because it, uh, it's really hard to fold and I'm just really having a hard time folding it and I was afraid I would get it because it's kind of thick it's nice thick music paper and I chose that one because I knew that it wouldn't crease and um, tear. It's not old music paper that's going to tear, you know. Okay, so then let's pull it back. And I will ink this one up to show you what I was trying to say earlier. This takes ink so pretty. It really does. It's such a pretty paper. I love working with music paper. I got some beautiful music paper at the flea market this weekend. Really pretty stuff. I haven't brought it in here yet because I have so much in here. Lots of stuff I can't find, but that I can find. Okay, so see, this is the piece we're keeping. And these are the pieces we're cutting off, and this is the part we're keeping up here. So, we cut on the diagonal here, up to that center piece there. And this is the side we're keeping, and you want to cut just on, I cut kind of diagonal here, down to that point. So, this is the part we cut off, this is the part up here that you're keeping and you just cut right on that side of it. And you do the same thing over here. Cut a diagonal. And then come over here. This is going to be a long one. Just cut. And don't worry, you're not going to ever see this part. So, you know, if your cut isn't so perfect, it's okay. It's never going to be seen. You just got to cut until you meet up here. But you're cutting on that side. And then that makes it so that when you fold this in, this piece here has nothing here that's stopping it from laying flat. There's no bunching up going on here. So then we want to ink this part up. Here. Okay. Oops, I need to get this one over here up. Oops. <laughs> this one's more flimsy because it's just graph paper. And I got it way, way darker than I intended. <laughs> I did not intend to get it this dark. I didn't realize that Distress Ink Gathered Twigs would be this dark. I have, or not, Distress Oxide. I haven't played with it, and I just didn't realize that it would be this dark when it dried. It's dark. It's really, really, really dark. Okay, so now what I want to do is get my circle punch. Okay, find the center, and I like to put it on my six. my 
center. That's my center right there. Oh, I dropped my popcorn on the... Okay, there's, this is my six. And then I gotta come down here with this one. It's making my eyes go wacko. Okay, so there's my center. Plus, I need something behind it. It wasn't punching very good. I think I'm going to use this one. And let me get a scrap of paper. Because there's a punching. Right if it's not punching very good, get this scrap to go behind it. But I think I'd like this shape on it. Okay. I just got to get it below where I started punching, so it'll punch all that out. Right there. Sometimes I like that shape. I was having trouble with my printer last night. Printing my Marguerite Miller prompts. I was trying to get it to print on my onion skin paper and I was having trouble. So then it finally printed, but not on my onion skin paper. There we go. Now, the next thing she has us do is some stamping. So I have this stamp set, and I got this from Timu. And I'm going to use this one. I'm kind of doing the same stamping she was doing, because I liked it. <laughs> I use my script stamps like this a lot. And um, I don't have it on there. I think. Oh, well. I was going to use my Stampin' Up, but I don't think that is. I think I better use my archival. Huh. So I'll use my archival sepia. I don't think my Stampin' Up, um, I don't think this will stay put when we do the next stamp. Next. I think I better use this.
uh, hmm, I think it's this way. some on the flap. I kind of skipped over all that when I was doing it. I really like this stamp set. The butterfly has a pin nib in the middle of it. I love that. That's why I wanted the stamp set, but it's got really, the rest of it's really pretty too. Okay, and then she used a swirl. I'll use the little swirl because I've just got little spots left. Apparently, the little one is my favorite because it's got the stain on it. I have trouble getting this off of here. I've got another swirl. This one's flourishes too. I've got flourishes one, but this one is out, so grab it. Flourishes one I've used a ton. And I've had it for years. This one I haven't had very long. I think my friend gave me this one. Oh, I didn't do both of them. We're gonna have to go back and do the other one. Oh, I'm sorry you guys. I'm wasting time. I kind of forgot about the other one. It doesn't help that I have a teeny tiny ink pad that I keep having to stop and re ink. But I do not use my stamps near as much as I should be, and it's, I think that's shameful. <laughs> and I have a stamp set that I have been searching and searching for, and I cannot find. I'm really upset with myself. It's, it's a stitching stamp. can't find it. I had forgotten all about it until um, I mentioned this, but you may not have seen the video. Um, our TV will play like 
if it's on pause, you know, it plays video, it plays pictures that's in our, in my Amazon photos. And it showed one of the layouts I had made a long time ago. And it was a layout where I had um, used this stamp set. And I thought, oh, I forgot all about that stamp set. But I can't find it anywhere. And I know I didn't get rid of it because I loved it. I cannot find it anywhere, and I'm so upset about it. And now I can't figure out which way is right side up with this thing. Again. That way, I think. Think it up and then try to look at it. That's right. <laughs> you can tell when you stamp it out, you can tell right side up. That's why I was trying to make sure that I had it how I wanted it. Because you can really tell. And I don't have it straight on this. But I have not been able to find it anywhere. Still must not have this straight. I'm putting a few more swirls in, but that's okay. I kind of like it. So that's what I'm doing. more over here because this side looks overkilled and this side doesn't have much 
Now, next step is something that I never really do, and I thought, I'm not doing that, I won't do that, but I'm going to do it, because, well, I'm following the, the challenge, and that is to put some gesso on, and I've never really done this, but then when I looked at how dark this is, I thought, well, what can it hurt? Liked Kathy's when she got her stuff. So let's try something new, Gina. <laughs> I need a drink real quick, though. Okay. Maybe I'm going to try it. And maybe I'm not. There. Okay. She just took it and she just kind of spread it. Oh, yuck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta go with it. Well, I gotta say, I'm not a fan of it on this because of the color on here. Please tell me it's going to dry better than this. I don't like all my brush strokes being left and right. Was I supposed to have a wet brush? Is it because I used distressed oxide? I hate that harshness right there. stop right there. I gotta tell you, I'm not feeling comfortable about doing my other one because I like how my other one looks. And so I'm gonna say I did one. I did one. I did one. I tried it. I am not a fan. I tried one. <laughs> and I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> I 
did one. <laughs> Let me wrap my brush up here. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it to this one. because I like how it looks. You guys, I'm leaving it alone. I like how it looks. I'm leaving it alone. We'll let that one dry. I like how it looks. I can't do it. Let me put my gesso up. <laughs> I can't do it. shelf is way up on the wall where I put all my stuff like my gesso and stuff. I have to lean over my my Roscoff uh, Roscoff uh, whatever that cart to put my stuff up there. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I can't do it because I really like this. Okay, so let's put this is going to go here. This and we have these and this and these. Yeah, okay. So I think I'll put the cart postel, postel, postel. that one there. I'll put this one right down here on the line. Where do I want this to be? Wait, maybe... Do I want that to be there? And then it can be... Even the, when it folds, it'll be right there. That would be really pretty, wouldn't it? We'll put that there. Maybe we don't need the second one. And then we can put these here, or maybe this one can be tucked with that one. Um, seems like I'm missing a snowflake, aren't I? Well, it looks okay because I like that up in the corner. Do I need a couple more? Well, here I am going back to my snowflakes when I said I wasn't going to. Let's get a couple small ones. Do I have this where you can see? Barely, but I do. Okay. Put a small one there. And maybe a small one there. How's that? flat tooth toothbrush. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Paintbrush. Let me grab one. I don't have one over here on my desk. I'm having trouble figuring out which one I want to use. 
this one will work good. Okay, that one. It's very, very long, but it'll work. Okay, now, um, I need to... Tear this one down. There we go. I'm going to try Kathy's way of doing this. Um, I just hope I have my glue mixed up. I put water in here. But I don't know how you get it all mixed up. Like, I have shook and shook and shook and shook. So I have, I hope I have my water. Kathy, can you tell us, do you like take all your glue out, mix it all up and put it in there? Or did you just put your water in and shake? Because I don't know if I have it mixed up. I just put my water in and then I started shaking. I had my glue to about here. I don't know. But she makes it look so easy. <laughs> she makes everything look easy. <laughs> okay, so she just takes and she starts putting her stuff out like this. And then she spreads it out. I think it's mixed up because it's it's runny but there's glue in there so and then she picks up her thing and puts it down but I already have it in my hand so and then she puts some more glue on top here and spreads it out and she says it dries matte instead of glossy. And that's fabulous because I don't like it when it dries all glossy. And that amount of glue I put on there was plenty need any more than that, that's for sure. Okay, so then, so I'm going to take and put some glue on my thing, and spread it out on here, and then she just grabs her Napkin, which I got a big piece of napkin here. That didn't work. Probably work for her. <laughs> which I didn't put napkin up here because this is gonna or glue because it's gonna overflow onto that. Put this on here. How I want it. And put some glue on top of here. And spread it out. all the bubbles down, I guess. And then I'll come along after it's dried and cut all that off. <laughs> it really does work. start using her way of doing this. 
And I would think after you get um, one bottle going of glue, it would be easier than your first bottle because then you can just add glue. You know, like then you just start replacing your glue and water after well, yeah, as you run out, you know. It's just your first bottle, I would think, would be. Because I actually don't glue out of this bottle. Well, I kept waiting, thinking, well, I'll use some glue out of that bottle, and then I'll get some water in it. And I thought, I'm never going to do that, because I never use Elmer's glue for anything. Except for I'm going to use it for this. So, <laughs> oh, I just set my things flying. I didn't put those down like I planned on it, but so I kind of need one more there. And like I said, once you get it in there, the, the edges just kind of melt down. You really can't see the edges very well. brush. I didn't even need to add any to that one. Okay, so we'll put, oh, I need a little bit of glue down here on this. Didn't quite have enough. Okay, we'll set this to the side and let it do some drying and we'll work on the other one. Which I don't have near as much for this one to I should have maybe got the pumpkins out of it. We might have to do that. Okay, so because all I really have is this and this, let's get the pumpkins out of this. try to do more than two of these because it had been a three hour video. Okay, so I think I'll do the same thing on this one that I did on the other with this. So we will tear it right here. There we go. Let's put that down. Even my glue is turning yellow. <laughs> Must be the distress oxide uh, I should not have used, probably. Oh my. I don't know how this one's going to turn out. <laughs> See, I just don't know much about distress oxide. I haven't played with it much. And you're thinking, that's obvious. <laughs> okay. So 
this is going to go right there. So. Oh, my truck crooked. Come on, lift up, lift up, lift up. Come on. Oh. Come on, just let me straighten you up a little bit here. around me driving me nuts. And then do I want to gather here or here? So, I will have to get everything dry, and then we will come back, and I will um, do some decorating. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I did not make it back last night. <laughs> I turned off the camera and um, did supper, and... I just didn't make it back in here. So I got in here this morning and this is how this looks. It's awful. It's absolutely awful. Um, so I learned about Distress Oxide ink. And I learned some lessons about it. And I gotta tell you, I redid it. It's just right now going in the trash. <laughs> So this is what the graph paper looks like to begin with. It's got green lines, which I really like. So I redid it, and I got enough out of my walnut ink. There's hardly anything in here, but I got enough out of it that I got it kind of um, redid uh, to where I liked it. Here's how the Christmas one looks. I really like it. And this one is still a little bit dark for the napkin, but it's much better. And you know what I did with um, this one? I stamped it before I cut it down to envelope size. And I liked how that worked. I thought I got that down, but I guess I didn't. I'm sure thought I did it. Um, and I liked doing it that way because... Uh, your stamps run off the edge and stuff, and they don't um, look so pre-planned out and stuff. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I liked it. So, we will put this one together here, and then try to decorate it. Um, I don't have very much fall stuff to decorate with, so this might be kind of interesting. Because I just don't have very much to decorate with. I didn't turn my didn't turn this glue over. So I guess we'll use my barely arts for right now. No, it should work fine. Those are in the way. That's my map. Something weird was on my map. that you all are having a good day.
every time I turn on the camera that thing goes by. <laughs> I sat right next to my window here. So there, we have our seed packet. Now I should have done it the other way so my pumpkin showed, but live and learn. I should have put the pumpkins over here. Oh well. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. <laughs> so, um, I took out these charms that I completely forgot I bought a long time ago. I got them when they were on sale, of course. And I didn't know if one of these little bird charms would look pretty on there, and I think it would. Now I just have to figure out how I get it off there. I should have done this ahead of time, because you've seen me fumble with these things before. I'm very good at it. That is a strong one, too. Oh my goodness. I fell in love with these charms when I bought them. Brought them home, put them in my little, oh, you know those little drawers like guys have out in their garage. I got one up on my wall. I put it up in there and forgot all about it. Goodness. I don't know how you get this off of here. Well, these aren't meant to be kept together, are they? Holy cow. There is a jump ring between the flower and maybe I have to keep the flower and the bird together. my bad ideas. Oh, for goodness sakes. There's got to be a way. You just got to be stronger than me, I think. a little bit. <sighs> okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it, you guys. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, well, I gotta get a jump ring on there. I got my jump rings out that are easy. <laughs> They're easy. They, they move easy. And I have to hang on to them, but they move. I'll just put one on there for now. And then we'll see what else. Okay. And... Um, thought I would put some lace on there. I also had, I pulled this out, and I thought about cutting one of these off and put it on there. I just dumped my little, my little trash bin thing here. Oh, I put lace in there. I didn't mean to do that. It's, I'll just dump it in my trash. I haven't dumped it in my trash can for a while. It's really full. This is so handy to keep on my desk. I just put little bits in it. But anyway, let's cut one of these off of here. And I never do go in search of my good little scissors. Really early, early 
last night neither of us felt very good. And this thing is damaged, that's why I'm cutting it up. I gotta add a yard top for 50 cents. Thought that was a steer. Because it's beautiful, even though it is damaged, it's still very useful for me. Lots and lots on it. So I didn't know about putting it. Of course, I put gather where I can't quite. notice that on any of them. Could put it up here and then cut it. I think that's what I'll do. And I could get one of my safety pins and safety pin the bird there. But I see. But plan B because I'm not finding any safety pins up here. Which is crazy. I know I have safety pins. I guess yellow would be the best. Because they're yellow, pink, and purple. hot mess because these things have never been able to stay down and so everything slides and oh it's a hot mess it drives me crazy because I could never get it organized right and oh, it makes me nuts I've probably had it 20 years but it makes me crazy This, this one's darker. So maybe put that through there. Now we need some we need some seam binding to make a ribbon with.
pretty brown and a green, but I think the green will, yeah, I don't like that green with the bird. I've got a yellow. That might be pretty. I don't know about with the background. Now that brown would go with it all and it doesn't clash with the bird, I don't think. That might be the one we use. I've also got this pretty blue. Look at that blue. No, it crashes, crashes, crashes. It crashes. <laughs> okay, I think that is what we will use. And since I'm not a very good bow maker, we are going to get my trimmer out. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Try to get this up here. It's hard to get this where you can see it. Yeah, it's kind of where you can see it now. These right here. Now I gotta remember how this works. That side of the ribbon looks kind of afraid. It all does. Okay, well. Okay, so I take this, put it like this. Go under, I think. I want a little bit more tail than that. I usually don't cut until I know. make a very big bow, did I? Hmm. Put those two apart. Let's do them this far apart. See what we get. See if I like that better. Oops. A little bigger. Bigger tail. What's wrong with my seam binding? It's like all stretched out or something. That was a better size. I just don't like how my seam binding's looking, but oh well. There we go. Love, love, love how that works. <laughs> up a little bit here. I don't know why it's all funky like that. We're going to have to shorten that tail because I don't like how it looks. There. And then I'll put the bird through there and tie it on to here, or not tie it, put the safety pin through here, and have the bird hanging backwards. Okay, let's fix that. <laughs> okay, so I got to I 
with my bow here. I don't think about putting these two bows together on there. Nope, that's not going to work. What did I just do? I just did something to the bird here. Something is not working right with this bow. Why is my bird backwards again? I don't understand what keeps happening here. Okay, okay. There we go. I'll cut this tail off a little bit. That will work. Okay, so I gotta glue this down. There is a gnat flying around me again. This. I'm gonna put it. No, I'm not. My darn glue gun came and plugged again. I don't know why that keeps happening. So we're using this. Did you ever get in your room and think, I think today I was just supposed to sit and watch TV? Maybe I was really supposed to clean my my house, which I've been working on in between. <laughs> Laundry. Litter box. Ugh. Hundred percent happy with this bow, but it's gonna work. And 
I'm going to have to let that dry because I know those scissors will cut that and there's glue. Yeah, there's glue on there that's not dry. So, we're going to set this off to the side. I have one more thing to put on there though. Where did it go? Well, we'll find it. We will find it while I'm working on the other one. It will show up. So I'm going to set that right there. Now, this one. Let's put this one together. Make sure. Yeah, it has to be this way because the, I think that needs creased again after that napkin dried. This one I thought would be pretty with some lace down here. So let's pick out some lace. I've got some in here. Nope, it's in the other box. I brought in two of my boxes of lace. Let's set this box down. And I'm thinking. Out. I keep not getting my pen cushion out and then I lose my pens. But I thought that might look really pretty there, and I think it does. No, I don't think I want it along the edge because I've got that edge there. And Now that looks pretty for some reason. I like it right there along with that. But I really want it down here to finish off this where the bottom of the snowman is. He kind of just ends there. So yeah, we're going to put it there. I'm going to scoot it over a little bit because that's cut real crooked there. Give me room to cut that straight. what it would look like if I doubled this up. What if I... put the red down. Of course this is backwards. But we'll just pretend like that's the right way. Until, and then put this over that. That would be pretty. We're going to do that. I think I laid that needle down. Maybe not. Did I stick it in there? Okay. So hopefully, hopefully, this is, yeah, it's got glue dripping out of it. 
Oh, I don't have my finger. I never did find my rubber finger. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. Yes, wait a second. Into because my mat blocks them. Okay, put it down here. I did. There it is. That will come in handy for this. Gave myself enough to cut off straight. It's all wonky over here. I barely gave myself enough. That was the whole reason I cut it off so long. That, my scrap jar. Okay. way before I'm laying it down there. That's the right way. And I will put this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I went way off on that. Get off of there. I think I'm going to have to get me a fine tip glue gun, as much as I love my cordless one. I'm going to have to get me one, because that thing just shoots way too much glue out. I love it because I could keep that thing plugged in. My plug-ins are really hard to get to. And I could keep the plug-in plugged in and then just unplug my gun and still have the plug-in plugged in, you know, and not have to stand on my head to get down there and plug it in. But I don't know. Then I just spied something else in my... Thing that I wonder how this would look. This is a green velvet. How would that look over the top of all this to finish it off? And I love it. Love, love, love it. Yes, I do. where you can see all this. Okay, keep this down. Let's use my weight. I'm going to use my little weight here to try to keep those kind of down out of the way a little bit. Getting in the way of my gun. My hands are so shaky that I got such a wonky line of glue there.
off. And I have these. These are from Pretty Little Studios. And I thought they were cute. I've never used them. I've had them for, well, they're from 2014. I've, looks like I've used two of them. So. Um, maybe you put that one right there. That one's pretty. Let's do that one. Got a thread on my glue gun. cute little clip that has rhinestones on it. I thought I'd put it up here. Maybe one of these little um, puffy stickers could fit on there. That little stocking would fit perfectly, wouldn't it? That's just a red one. And I think I might get my tweezers except that I did not yeah, I put my tweezers back. I just didn't see them. I think I better put some glue because I've had those stickers for lots of years. glue off and then put the stocking back because <laughs> I was not getting the extra glue off very easily. Okay, there. And then that can kind of be a closure for our little seed packet. Now something I don't like is how white that is. So I'm going to take this and one, two. Just spread it along there. Let's see what a difference that makes there. Okay. And then we got this here. I think we've got pretty well just a good little decoration for it. I think that's okay. What do you guys think? Let me know if you like it. I hope it's okay. I do not have a lot of Christmas stuff or fall stuff, so I was like, oh, what? going to do for these two things. But I happen to have those napkins, so I will stand up and I will show you these closer, and I hope that you like them. Oh, we got to cut this off. And I will save these extra pieces of this little, I guess it looks like a doily now. I'm in trouble cutting it off. I hope my fabric scissors are not getting dull. See, that'll be good to tuck in underneath something. But, okay, so here is our fall napkin. In the back. 
didn't really do anything to the back, but I think that's okay. And then here's our Christmas one. And I like all the layers of the lace. I think that helps with, I think I'll put a little bit of glue right there to keep that down. I think I'll do that because I, I don't like how that's sticking up there. Okay, I will have all the information down below to the video at um, Kathy's Garden so, to this video where she gives a tutorial for this for Tag Me Tuesday. And this will go up tomorrow, so there'll be a brand new Tag Me Tuesday tomorrow. I'm so sorry. But you could always go back and do any Tag Me Tuesday you want. And all the information will be there. Kathy will tell you all about her Tag Me Tuesdays and how you can join her Facebook group and all of those things. So thank you for joining me today. You have a fabulous day, and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.